Jim Downing rescues Spawn and Lyra from Blood's vampires, only to reveal that Green World isn't what it used to be since the end of the Heaven Hell War. Is Nix's master plan about to be revealed? Let's find out in our review of Spawn number 355 from Image Comics. See you in three. Welcome back to Comical Opinions. This is our review of Spawn number 355. When you consider the multitude of competing titles in the Spawnverse, all dealing with the fallout since Nyx took Hell's throne, Spawn still stands head and shoulders above the rest to keep the story going. Spawn number 355 is light on action, in truth, but it makes up for that lack with strong character moments, world building, and interesting teases that suggest Nyx's ascension to the Queen of Hell is more mysterious than we thought. When last we left Spawn and his potential ally and mysterious ally Lyra in Spawn number 354, Spawn stopped Lyra from getting killed while prematurely attempting to assassinate Blood, the King of the Vampires. Spawn and Lyra were eventually cornered by Blood's pursuing vampire guards and mercenaries, including a mind-controlled Reaper, aka Eddie Frank. To inflict suffering on Spawn, Blood ordered Eddie to kill himself by slowly driving an axe into his chest in front of Spawn. The torture session was interrupted on the last page by the arrival of former ally, former angel, Jim Downing. And that brings us to the current issue, Spawn number 355. We pick up with Jim Downing facing down the vampires holding Spawn and Lyra captive. Downing says he's come on behalf of Nyx, who is very displeased with Blood's inability to wipe out their mutual enemies, per their agreement. Now the vampires that are there have no idea what this agreement is about, but they know absolutely 100% positively they don't want to get in the middle of it. Downing announces he's taking Spawn, Lyra, and Eddie to Nyx by her orders. And since no vampire wants to get on Nyx's bad side, they let Downing go with Spawn, Lyra, and Eddie. Writers Rory McConville and Todd McFarlane start the issue on a strong note that puts Jim Downing in the alpha character spot. He comes off as the ultimate badass. He has the power from Green World and the attitude to match. So if you're going to effect a rescue, this is how you do it without lifting a single finger. Then we cut to the next scene now. This is a heavy spoiler. If you don't want to know, skip ahead. But if you're hanging on, here we go. Surprise! It was all a bluff. Downing takes his charges to a spawn safe house for protection and a chance to recover. And there he explains that Green World lost contact with Nyx after she ascended to the throne. And he figured Spawn was the last person to see her so he would know why she's gone radio silent. Unfortunately, Spawn doesn't have any of that information, so... Downing is basically empty-handed, and nobody from Green World knows that he's on Earth. While Spawn and Downing are chatting, Lyra sneaks away. Eddie starts screaming in pain as he tries to rip himself apart with his bare hands because he's forced to obey his master's order. Spawn is just as baffled as everyone else is by Nix's radio silence, but before Downing and Spawn part ways, he asks Downing to take Eddie to Green World to be free of Blood's influence. Downing, thankfully, agrees. Now to be fair, the meeting between Downing and Spawn, which does take up a considerable amount of page space, doesn't tell you what Nyx is up to. Still, it gives you a lot of information about Green World's status since Nyx ascended and a strong clue that Nyx is up to something different than anyone expected. In short, the scene doesn't tell you what's happening, but it does tell you what you suspect was happening is wrong. So it's a pretty quick issue, but you get a lot of meat on the bone. The issue concludes with Spawn finding Lyra to make an offer, Insight into the source of Lyra's hatred, not just blood, so there's a hint there or a tease at least, and the Fixer gets new teammates courtesy of Jason Wynn and the Agency. Overall, Spawn number 355 makes up for its lack of action with strong dramatic scenes, super intriguing hints about Nyx, and an escalation in the Agency's efforts, because there are some new characters that show up on the last page we won't spoil here. McConville and McFarlane appear to be cooking up something very interesting, and this is prob probably the strongest title of any in the Spawnverse, and the one that does the most to continue to propagate the fallout from the Heaven Hell War. Let's switch gears and talk about the art. Boy, Maron, it's, it's almost disgusting how good Brett Booth's art looks on the page. Booth packs in so much fluidity and detail in every panel, you can't help but sit up and take notice. I mean, it's just... Uh, it's, it's almost sickening how good it is. This comic has some of the best art around that captures the classic McFarlane style and gives it just a bit of a tweak, just a little bit of a twist to make the visuals uniquely boost. This comic looks fantastic. Now let's talk about the big picture. Where does this title fit into the greater Spawnverse? 
All the Spawnverse titles are wrestling with the fallout from the Heaven Hell War. Some are more passive about it than others. For example, Gunslinger Spawn is aware of it and the Hobby is dealing with it, but not in a big way. But this title is the only one that keeps Nyx's ascension on everyone's radar as something that's, that's a future goal or something that's being built towards. That said, this title does conflict with King Spawn in that the same character, Spawn, is dealing with vampires in two different books at the same time, but they're going about it in completely different ways, with different plots and different outcomes. So readers may find the overlap very confusing. I know that I do sometimes. So given the choice, if you had to pick one, I would pick Spawn over King Spawn. They're both pretty good titles, but this main book is the, really the one to stick with. So final thoughts, what do you think about Spawn number 355? It's heavy on information, light on action, but the net result is a comic that heaps on tons of intriguing clues about Green World, Nyx, Lyra, and more. McConville and McFarlane's plot is engaging and packed with drama, while Brett Booth's art is next level gorgeous. Therefore, Spawn number 355 from Image Comics earns an 8.8 .8 out of 10. McConville and McFarlane give a masterclass on presenting a superhero comic without action that's still engaging and entertaining. But what do you think? Are you interested to know what Nix is up to on Hell's Throne? Give us a thumbs up if you are, and leave a comment below with your favorite Spawnverse title, whether it's this one or any of the others. Also remember to click on the link in the description to read the written review and buy this comic to help support the channel. That would be greatly appreciated. So thank you very much for joining and stay tuned through the outro for more reviews just like this one.